They got it right. They got it right. The NBA is the first sport that I've ever seen to get the all-star game right. They finally did it. And they did it before. They almost did it perfectly when the NBA all-star game changed to a draft style. We've seen a lot of the LeBron and Kevin Durant on TNT and remote cameras drafting their all-star team. And they almost had it exactly right that time. But they were missing one thing, and they finally made that change. And this year, this year is going to be the best all-star game yet. Even though it still means nothing, it's going to be even cooler this year. Now, the reason I say... They're the only ones to get it right because look at all these other all-star games. Now, baseball is okay. They've you know, found ways to make it matter more, but it's hard to care about a baseball game with a bunch of players pitching one inning and a guy bats two, three times, and it's whatever. And There's not that much action. It's not like other sports where you can make it more fun, and I'm a big baseball fan. NFL, no one cares about it anymore. Last year, the Pro Bowl became like a two-hand touch. I think this year they're not even doing a full game. Uh, nobody wants to get hurt. It doesn't mean anything, so it's really hard to have a meaningful Pro Bowl game. NHL, I feel like it's kind of the same as baseball and, and basketball. You know, there's not that anything special to it. But the NBA figured this out. The NBA All-Star Draft this time will take place on the court, pickup ball style, right before the game. As always, on the West, LeBron James came out as the top fan vote, so he'll be drafting Team LeBron. And on the East, it ended up being Team Giannis, so it's going to be LeBron and Giannis picking each player before tip-off, playing a pickup basketball game, essentially. And then they release these jerseys. Now, first of all, don't love the jerseys, but it does fit the fact that it's in Utah. You have the orange-yellow ones that look like that orange-yellow Utah jersey, and you have the blue-white, blackish that also fits Utah. I totally understand the color schemes, but that's besides the point. They're just very plain. But it looks like the way they're lining it up and the way that they're selling them in team stores... They're selling, for example, I saw the Cleveland Cavaliers are selling Donovan Mitchell. They're selling it in the blue and the yellow. So it looks like, we don't know yet, but it looks like they could just be lining up jerseys. Like you'll have a LeBron in yellow and a LeBron in blue. And you'll have a Giannis in yellow, a Giannis in blue, a Devin Booker in yellow, a Devin Booker in blue. And they'll be on the court right when they get picked up by Team LeBron or Team Giannis. They go grab their jerseys, put it on, and we go hoop like we're playing at LA Fitness or any other gym, pick up ball, park style, whatever you want to call it. Now, I'm not saying the draft perfects the game on the court because there's never going to be a perfect reasoning for the NBA All-Star game to work great, right? It's, it's a game that doesn't really mean much to most people. Now, it means something to them because it's fun to win an MVP or it's fun to win a game. LeBron winning at, in Cleveland last year, hitting the game winner and that, you know, it's like the first to 120, whatever the score thing was. That was really cool for LeBron James in his hometown. Don't get me wrong. And I'm sure he loves that. I think Team LeBron's never lost yet in the All-Star draft era, the last two, three years, whatever it's been. But there's not like some huge incentive outside the fact that they get to donate certain money to charity and some pride. But I feel like the draft aspect puts even more pride. You're sitting there in front of people. Some people are going to go second to last. Some people are going to go last. Like, I really want to know who's going to go last in that draft live in front of everybody. I'd be kind of pissed. I'm a prideful person. But it's going to be really interesting to see how the draft plays out. And then you're going to be sitting there with these guys saying, like, I drafted you. Kind of be more prideful and see how that relates on the court. I'm not saying it's a perfect model, but I am saying they finally figured out a way to make it more interesting. And it's definitely going to be more fun. Even if the game's not great, everyone's going to want to tune in to a live draft in person with guys picking basketball players to go play a live televised game in the All-Star game. So I... I'm approving this message by the NBA. I think it's awesome. There's obviously more things they can probably do in the future to make it even more exciting. But this is step one. This is probably the only all-star game. I'm going to make sure I'm tuned in before tip-off because I actually want to see what happens. I've never in my life wanted to be there before tip-off for all-star game because it's an all-star game. But this time I do. So they did a good job. I'm proud of the NBA and I'll be watching. I'm Sammy on tap. Like and subscribe. It means a lot to me. We'll talk soon. Peace.